Hi everybody, welcome to On Air Talks by Deputy Vision. Today's session is going to be about how to deal with empty stadiums and how to capitalize your losses. With me today, I have two colleagues, Vilan from Spain, the country manager of the Spanish office, and George from our America sales team. Augmented reality graphics are gaining a, a real big importance in the sports world, particularly in football. Not only the broadcasters are looking for new ways of entertaining the viewers, but also new potential ways of generating revenues and a new ways also to show interesting data to the viewers. Particularly with COVID-19, we had an unprecedented situation of having empty stadiums. And it was a big challenge, not only for the broadcasters, but also to the clubs, how to use an empty stadium and how to entertain people at home with an empty stadium, without the noise of the public, without the color of the flags, without the color of the shirts. So augmented reality came and tried to fix some of these problems with several options. The first of all, creating virtual crowds, uh, creating virtual public in the stadium, giving cover to the stadium and giving a better experience on the broadcast and on the viewer. And also to generate a new ways of revenue because now it's possible to cover all the stadium with brands, with sponsors that previously was not possible because we have people there. So augmented reality connected to virtual graphics in this particular moment in the world is key to not only to save the entertainment, but also to save the business of the clubs, the broadcasters and the sponsors. Well, now let's put a word in our colleagues. And first, I would like to address to you, George, and you had a, a recent project with CPL, um, Canadian Premier, Premier League. And I would like to ask you, what was the challenges uh, that uh, the customer uh, asked you? What, what was the, the need and how did you reply to it? Well, the first need that we had with a CPL project was that they played this season in the University uh, Prince Edward Island Stadium, which is not a stadium environment for broadcast. It's not a complete stadium. So they challenged us to come up with an innovative, creative way to deliver a professional caliber experience for the fans, the supporter partners, and also a fun way for the fans to participate and engage throughout the broadcast. We started talking about virtual crowds and that very quickly moved on to virtual advertising inside the stadium. Um, the CPL League did a great job with the marketing and they were able to sell sponsorships all throughout the stadiums. We had to develop a complete virtual solution to simulate the stadium during the live broadcast. We were using AR3, WTVision's uh, solution for, for augmented reality, and it proved to be a very, very successful production um, for, the, for the CPL. So what started to be a, a project that the main goal was to fill the empty stadiums um, become suddenly not only an entertainment experience, but also uh, a, a business, a, a business experience and a new way of generating revenues for the final customer. Is that so? Yes, exactly that. We began talking about uh, filling a stadium, creating a stadium to have fans. And then um, we started moving on to sponsorship and new revenue sources. And that's something that has been uh, an ongoing talk because since we are expecting next season to have fans in the stadiums, now we're using this same technology to bring new forms of, of advertising to stadiums, uh, new forms of uh, revenue to the production. Okay, excellent, excellent. What about you, Vivian? You work with uh, 
probably one of the biggest, the first or the second biggest league in the world, La Liga, that uh, arrives to hundreds of countries. And what was the motivation of La Liga to find a virtual solution for the broadcast? Okay, well, actually, um, WTV in Spain uh, works closely with uh, Media Pro, the, uh, the production company for La Liga. And in April, we knew that uh, La Liga would start again uh, in June uh, with their with a competition and uh, what happened is that uh, they were not allowed to well to to have public in the stadium so we started to look for solutions and we came actually up with the solution for a virtual crowd uh, based on uh, VizRT um, software as we are working with uh, VizRT for, for a long time in Spain now. And this um, virtual crowd solution, we first tested it, of course. Uh, you have some restrictions. Uh, you want to see the ball still. We had to do everything uh, in, in a remote production environment. We had to do uh, 42 stadiums because they not only wanted to, to do this with the top matches, they wanted to do this with all, all kinds of matches. And, uh, well, um, actually quite close to the competition two weeks before, they really decided, okay, this is a solution we want. Because what happens is that uh, by really providing and testing and showing what it is doing, they noticed that by creating a virtual crowd, uh, the spectator at home, the, the viewers at home, are really watching the game and they are not noticing that the stadium is completely empty. And that was actually their mo motive to, to go into this. And of course, like uh, George says, uh, later on uh, you can talk about advertising, sponsor, uh, enhancement of graphics on the pitch, but this was actually their first motives is really to get the viewers eyeballs on the competition itself and not feeling that the stadium is is empty and uh, that that's that's the thing is the customer happy yeah they're very happy <laughs> they're very Good happy they, they they even um got nominated with this project uh, for the innovative uh, award in sportel and they got a lot of uh, exposure a lot of publicity around this this solution actually it was the first leak and it was also the first leak we really jumped into this and 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 had the um, what is it had the the, the, risk. the courage the courage the risk to do and this. the courage yeah of course well, i mean when well. you when you first start uh, you can also expect a lot of criticism uh, of professional journalists if they like it or not like it and actually especially uh, when you look to the english uh, reporters they were very happy with this solution uh, so great great congratulations well george you were talking about both of us or both of you implemented in two different regions more or less the same solution with two different kind of technologies. Yes. Uh, you mentioned, George, that you use it AR free, which is WT Vision's technology. So can you briefly explain uh, how it works, how the workflow um, works and what is the role of WT Vision and uh, our software in this project? Well, um, AR3 is a software that does augmented reality based on video analysis. What it actually does is it tracks the white lines in the field. All football field, all uh, football or soccer fields are exactly the same. Okay, The stadium may be different. You have the, uh, the seats, stairs, access, exits, things like that. But the football field is exactly the same. You have a line in the middle, the circle in the middle, the area, the small area, is they're all exactly the same. So what we do is we track those white lines um, and where uh, AR3 is able to automatically calculate the 
height of the camera, the direction that the camera is looking at, and we are able to bring this augmented reality remotely without the need of extra hardware in the production. So uh, it's very clever the way that uh, AR3 manages this since it's only video analysis. It really helps us to centralize and the graphics do it remotely and saving costs on, on travels and also the restrictions on travels uh, because of the, the COVID situation. So we are able to save a lot of money for the production by doing this remotely. Okay, so basically you don't have to install nothing on the camera and you can use up to three, camera, three cameras at this point, right? Exactly, three cameras. Uh, we use master camera, the camera one, which is the wide shot and the offside cameras. Um, the offside cameras, be because AR3, it's a solution, it has a solution to also provide the offside lines and this kind of uh, augmented reality graphics that look great using offside cameras great. and the master camera. So we use three cameras at great. the same time. Thank you, George. Willem, in your case, uh, it's a kind of different than uh, the project in the US or for Canada uh, because you mentioned that instead of uh, our own technology we used VizRT which works basically does the same stuff uh, in a different way with another kind of, of uh, with a different kind of software mm -hmm. uh, actually what was the role of WT Vision in this project um, so what was our connection between La Liga, Media Pro, VizRT, and WT Vision. How was our role, or what was our role in this project? Well, first of all, uh, we were the one pitching this solution uh, through Media Pro, of course. Uh, we started with the idea, and then Media Pro took it up. Um, then together with Media Pro, we tested uh, the, the solution, and also, of course, together with Viz. I mean, this is one part. I mean, this is taking care of the tracking and the, 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 the engine itself that renders the graphics. But you need our football CG really to launch these graphics and to program everything by which it really runs smoothly. And uh, at the same time, you need designers uh, understanding very well the graphics design tools uh, to make this happen. Uh, it's all 3D modeling. Uh, you do this outside, but then you have to tweak it inside uh, the, Viz, the Viz solution. So that, that's the part of the technology. And of course, we had to, to, to take care of the project management, the installation of the solution and, and, and operate. Uh, operate. Uh, you have to imagine that when we started in mid-June, we had every day more or less six or seven matches, seven days a week. And uh, actually, we didn't have any 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 match that didn't go without the virtual crowd. Great. So it was a successful partnership. It was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Great. George, after the success of CPL, uh, there was or there are other customers looking for our solution and now we don't have only one customer but several ones in your region. Uh, can you briefly tell us a little bit uh, other experience uh, that we are doing with, uh, with uh, AR3? Yes, um, after the success that we had with, uh, with the Canadian Premier League, we started having a lot of discussions with various uh, football leagues in South America, North America. The main one would have to be uh, La Liga Argentina, the Argentinian league, the first division. It's the most important league in in Americas, and um, they, we are expecting the return of the matches for the first days of November. We are going to use virtual crowds using AR3 and W Division's R3 render engine. Also, with the World Cup qualifiers that have that have been going on, 
We are doing productions for Bolivia, for Peru, the Peruvian broadcaster. It's doing all of their all of their production centralized from Chile. And we have several other discussions going on about other regions, um, other countries in the region. Um, but this would have to be the main ones. The World Cup qualifiers, the Liga Argentina would have to be the main. Well, big challenges. Good luck to it. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to thank you, both of you, uh, your participation. Wish you the best of luck with your projects and hopefully that you get some more for us, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Thank right. you. AR Free is a software developed by WT Vision, which is intuitive and accurate and allows to generate augmented reality and virtual graphics. With that software connected with the production cameras, you can have augmented reality graphics, you can have virtual crowds, you can have advertisement, you can have tied to the field graphics, you can have cam carpets and other kind of graphics in the way that become to show information, to entertain the viewers at home and to generate advertisement. Uh, I invite you to later on to see a demo of this product, this WT Vision product, AR Free. Please don't miss it. It's interesting and it's going to entertain you and it's going to inform, inform you about what everything that can be done in a simple and intuitive way. Have a nice day.